Saudi Arabia is a country that's known for its rich culture and history, as well as its modern development and economic prosperity. But while the country has made economic and social progress in recent decades, it's also important to recognize that every country has its own set of issues and challenges. Hi, my name is Palabo, and I've started launching episodes about my visit to Saudi Arabia. And in the first one that came out on Tuesday, it may have sounded like there's nothing bad about the country. And even though I loved my visit and met some of the friendliest people I've ever met, there are still challenges. In this episode, I'll share what I think is both good and bad about Saudi Arabia. This is the Radio Vagabond. It's important to note that this is my take on it. The list might not be complete on both ends. So I hope that you'll join the conversation and let me know if you think I've missed something. But we'll get back to that in the end. Let's dive in and start with some of the things that are good about the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Culture and History Good Saudi Arabia is home to a number of historical and cultural sites that are of great importance to the country and the region. The city of Mecca is the holiest site in Islam and the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad. Medina, another city in Saudi Arabia, is also considered a holy city and is the burial place of the Prophet Muhammad. These cities are of great significance to the Muslims around the world and are a source of pride for the country. Economy Good Saudi Arabia is a major player in the global economy, with a GDP of over 800 billion US dollars. The country is rich in natural resources, particularly oil, which accounts for a significant portion of its wealth. The government has also invested heavily in modernizing and diversifying the economy with initiatives aimed at boosting tourism, technology and other sectors. As a result, Saudi Arabia has a high standard of living and a strong infrastructure. Education Good. Education is a priority in Saudi Arabia, with the government investing heavily in the education sector. The country has a number of top-ranked universities, including King Abdullah University of Science and Technology and King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals, which are known for their research and innovation. The government also provides free education to all citizens from primary school through to university. Now let's look at some of the bad sides. There are also a number of issues that have been the subject of criticism and concern. Let's have a look at some of the things that might not be good about Saudi Arabia. Treatment of women. Bad. One issue that has received significant attention is the treatment of women in Saudi Arabia. The country has a strict system of gender segregation and women are subject to a number of legal restrictions and limitations on their freedom of movement and expression. For example, women in Saudi Arabia are required to have a male guardian who has the authority to make decisions on their behalf and to control their movements. Women are also required to wear traditional head covering, known as a hijab, in public. Lack of political freedoms. Bad. Another issue that's been the subject of criticism is the lack of political freedoms in Saudi Arabia. The country is an absolute monarchy and political parties are not allowed. There's also no independent judiciary and human rights groups have reported cases of arbitrary detention, torture and other human rights abuses by the authorities. Treatment of migrant workers. Bad. There's also been a concern about the treatment of migrant workers in Saudi Arabia. Many migrant workers, particularly those from South and Southeast Asia, work in low-paying, dangerous jobs and are subject to abuse and exploitation by their employers. Migrant workers are also often denied access to basic rights and protections, such as the right to form unions or to seek legal recourse for workplace abuses. We have more things that are good and bad about Saudi Arabia in a minute. But first, let me mention that this episode is supported in part by Hotels25.com, a website that helps you find the best deals on hotel rooms, guest houses, and hostels around the world in one simple search. 
It's hotels25.com. Okay, we're back with more on the positive side of the scale. More things that are good about KSA, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Healthcare. Good. KSA has a well-developed healthcare system with a number of hospitals and clinics located throughout the country. The government invests heavily in the healthcare sector, providing free medical care to all citizens. The country is also home to a number of renowned medical facilities, such as the King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center, which is known for its advanced medical technology and expertise. Infrastructure. Good. Saudi Arabia has a modern infrastructure with well-developed transportation systems and a number of major cities connected by highways and airports. The country has also invested heavily in its telecommunications infrastructure with high levels of internet and mobile phone penetration. These investments have contributed to the country's economic development and have made it easier for the people to live, work and travel within the country. Natural beauty. Good. Despite its desert climate, Saudi Arabia is home to a number of beautiful natural landscapes. The country has a number of parks and natural reserves, including the Asir National Park, which is home to a number of endangered species. The country's coastline, including the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf, are also popular destinations for tourists and offer a range of activities such as diving, fishing and water sports. Back to the bad side. Treatment of minority groups. Bad. Human rights groups have also raised concern about the treatment of minority groups in Saudi Arabia, including the Shi minority in the eastern province and the Bidun, a stateless minority group. These groups have faced discrimination and marginalization and have been denied access to education and employment opportunities. There's also the discrimination against the LGBTQ community. For example, is homosexuality illegal in the country? Same-sex sexual activities are punishable by death, and the government has been known to imprison, torture, and execute individuals accused of being LGBTQ. The country does not recognize same-sex relationships and does not have any legal protections for LGBTQ people. Lack of freedom of expression. Bad. Another issue that has been a source of concern is the lack of freedom of expression in Saudi Arabia. The government tightly controls the media and censors the internet. And individuals who express dissenting views or criticize the government can face arrest and imprisonment. A tense relationship with other countries. Bad. It's also worth noting that Saudi Arabia has a complex and often tense relationship with other countries in the region. The country has been involved in a number of conflicts and disputes, including the ongoing conflict in Yemen, and has been accused of supporting extremist groups and interfering in the international affairs of other countries. Overall, Saudi Arabia has made a significant progress in recent decades and they have big things happening in their 2030 plan that I talked about in the episode a few days ago. Saudi Arabia is a country with a rich culture and history, a strong economy, and a well-developed infrastructure. It's home to a number of historical and cultural sites, top-ranked universities, and renowned medical facilities. The country is also home to a number of beautiful natural landscapes. But there are still issues that have been the subject of criticism and concern, treatment of women, lack of political freedoms, treatment of migrant workers and minority groups, and the lack of freedom of expression. Its modern development and initiatives to boost tourism has helped. In my opinion, it's important for Saudi Arabia to address the problematic issues and work towards a more just and equitable society if they really want to make it a dynamic and attractive place to live and to visit. These are my opinions based on my experiences visiting the country and the research I've done. You might disagree. Did I miss something, good or bad? Please let me know either on The Radio Vagabond on Facebook or by sending me a message via theradiovagabond.com slash contact. 
Thanks for having me in your ears. I'll be back with a travel episode on Tuesday with more from my visit to Saudi Arabia. Good. My name is Palabo, and I gotta keep moving. See ya. Radio Produced by RadioGuru.co.uk.